It is commonly said that even grain-fed cows are grass-fed for most of their lives, that they spend time on grass and are only eating grain for a small portion of their diet. But when we look at the actual lifespan of a typical grain-fed cow at 18 months, it becomes a bit unclear. Cows are born on pasture, staying with their mother, suckling until approximately 10 months of age, being weaned in the fall from their mother's milk. The cows are then left on grass for two to six months, sometimes not at all. But even if these cows were on pasture, it's winter time because they were weaned in the fall. These cows are never exposed to the nutritious summer grass that makes grass-fed beef so healthy. The feed grain-fed cows receive is abysmal in nutrition compared to green summer grass. Cows coming out on grass for the first time in the summer are happier than they have ever been, something grain-fed cattle never experience. They then spend an average of six months on feedlots, reaching market weight six to 12 months faster than grass-fed cattle. This isn't without consequence. The gain is at the expense and comfort of the animal. Feedlot conditions necessitate the need for constant medication and antibiotics. Since grass-fed animals take longer to fatten up, contrasted with the small amount of time that grain-fed animals are on pasture, grass-fed animals are typically on grass for eight times longer than grain-fed cows. This explains why there is such a significant difference in the color, taste, and nutrition between grain-fed and grass-fed beef despite the supposedly similar age and feed of the animals. There is an interesting parallel in America between how we feed our cattle and what we eat ourselves. We feed our babies soy formula instead of mother's milk, just like calves receive formula replacements in many cases. Then our babies and children, as well as cows, are put on low nutrient diets based around low quality foods. The thing is here, cows have much shorter lives. They are slaughtered before they develop too many diseases or issues. But the modern ailments we are suffering from now make it questionable if our step away from the foods found in nature is the root cause. Both humans and animals are being experimented on to see how much horrible food we can tolerate. So next time someone says all beef is on grass, ask them if they know the lifespan of a grain fed cow. When you realize it's 10 months on mother's milk, two to six months on grass or none at all, then six to 12 months on a feedlot, the marketing becomes a bit misleading to say the least. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support my goal of providing high quality nutrient dense animal foods, including grass fed beef to everyone on this planet, please check out Frankie's Free Range Meat at frankiesfreerangemeat.com. At the moment we are offering uh, several packages for pre-order and we are adding products every single week so definitely check out the website guys uh, check out the mission if you want to learn more about that outside of that you guys enjoy the rest of your week